Hi everyone, this is ENT316 Principle of Communication System. It's the third year subject of Biomedical Electronics Engineering Program, which is provided by University of Malaysia Police. Okay, I'm Dr. Lim Jijin here, which will teaching you for this subject. Here is my email number, emails and my phone numbers. If you have any questions, you can contact me through the email and phones. This is our technician, Mr. Rajiv. Okay. Our lecture will be carried out on every Tuesday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. and Thursday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. which will help in BKN 1 and 2 for both classes. For the labs and tutorial sections, we will help in Wednesday for group 2, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Thursday, group 1, 3.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Friday, group 3, at 30 a.m. until 10.30 p.m. Okay. All will help in MN4 B0 which means is in the um in the biomedical project lab okay okay what is communication system actually principal communication system is to introduce the basic principle and the components of the communication system do you know what is communication system your favorite Handphone is the one type of the communication system. So, in this subject, we'll cover various topics, such as introductions of the communication system, which is chapter 1, and chapter 2, elements of communication system, which we will study about all the elements inside our handphone and other electronics, communication electronics items. And we will study about the noise that will influence the communication system, transmissions in the system, and the transmission line. And mod analogs for chapter 4, we will study about analog modulations and demodulations, which is amplitude modulations. And chapter 5, we will study about angle modulation, which is includes about Frequency modulation and phase modulations. Chapter 6 Digital Communication System. And the last chapter is Chapter 7 Principle of Various Types of Communication System. Where we will study about the IoT, Internet of Things, and the communication system, how it is applied in biomedical field. Okay, this is our syllabus. For the first week, we will touch about chapter 1. So you can see here clearly, chapter 1 is the communication system. We will talk about the basics, important of communication system, information, message and signal. And we also will teach about the basic requirement component that need by the system, communication system. And third, we will define and explain the modulations, multiplexing, electromagnetic spectrum, and bandwidth that happen in the communication system. Three hours of lecture. Then, for the week 2 and 3, we will go to chapter 2. Elements of communication system. Here, we will study about the electronics communication circuit such as the circuit happen in handphone, your favorite thing, and also the definition, define and analyze the gain and attenuation decibel. Third, we will explain about the tune circuit, how the radio tune the channel and get the channel and how it's filtered off the noise. Okay, chapter four, we will Discuss about the radio transmitter and receiver. Chapter uh, chapter 2.5 is you will discuss on the information source transmitter. 
and transmission channel, medium receiver and etc. And 2.6 have limitation in the communication system and 2.7 is the frequency spectrum bandwidth for the radio spectrum and frequency limitations. All these include mid 3, uh, 6 hours of the lecture and in week 2, we will have a group assignments, introductions of the group assignments and week 3, we will have tutorial 1, chapter 1 and 2. Okay. Then we will go to week 4. Week 4 will have chapter 3 which is the noise in the system. We will study about the noise, element of the noise and how the noise influence the system and what type of the noise like that, thermal noise, short noise and etc. And we will discuss about the, uh, the noise property and how we want to analyze the noise in decibel and analysis the noise. Okay. So this need 3 hours of lecture and in week 4 we will provide assignment 1. So this assignment 1 you will it, it will include chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3. Okay. In week 5 and 6 we will go to chapter 4. So chapter 4 is talk about amplitude modulations. Define and explain and analyze the amplitude modulations, modulation index, spectra analysis bandwidth calculations and power analysis of the AM. Okay, AM which means stand for amplitude modulations. Then we will discuss about the double sided suppressed carrier which is DSBSC and single side band suspected carrier SSBSC receive sensor and for and for this one then we will go to 4.3 discuss and analyze about the AM modulator and demodulator circuit and last one is evaluate the noise in the analog communication system so in chapter 4 is need 6 hours of the lecture and in week 5 we will teach about tutorial 3, tutorial 2 which means chapter 3, the previous chapter and we will have quiz in, in week 6, quiz 1 include of chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3. Okay. Next, we will go to week 7. Okay, in week 7, we will teach about the angle modulation discuss and analysis the frequency modulation fm and phase modulation pm basal function narrow band wide band power bandwidth and distributions all these need three hours of lecture dance is your favorite week with each mid sam break after your mid and break, we will continue with chapter 5 again, analog modulations. Here we will explain about the generation, detection circuit of FM and discussion the application of FM. Okay, it's 3 hours of lecture. And we will have tutorial 3, include chapter 4 and 5. And here is your midterm exam. Please be prepared. Your midterm exam will include chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. So please be prepared now. Okay. Then we will go to chapter 6 in week 10 and until week 12. Okay. From here, chapter 6 is about digital communication system. Here, 6.1 we will explain about the sampling theory and calculate the sampling rate. 6.2 is to identify the pulse analog modulations which will cover the pulse amplitude modulations, pulse wide modulations and push 
positions modulations. 6.3 is justify and analyze the digital modulations. PCM is a pulse code modulations. Quantization noise, delta modulation, DM, and the PCM for the telephonist. So here we will study about how the analogs change to digital and this digital value will be recorded and saved in the system. Okay, 6.4, we will compare the line coding, which is the return to zero, no return to zero, Manchester and etc. Then we uh, digital transmission amplitude shift keying shift and frequency shift keying phase shift keying and 6.5 is discussed on the multi access method with the frequency deviation multiplexing time deviation multiplexing and etc so from for here chapter 6 we need 9 hour of lecture so at the same time, we will provide quiz 2, which include of chapter 4 and chapter 5, okay, in week 10. And we also will have tutorial 3, uh, chapter 4, 5, 2 hours in week 11. And also we will provide assignment 2, where include chapter 4, 5, 6 and 7 on chapter uh, on week 12 okay then we will go to the last chapter so this last chapter is principle of various type of communication system in week 13 until week 15 so first we will identify and analyze the various type of communication system 7.2 discuss and explain the telephony system which means the phone system and PSTN switching system and also discuss the mobile communication system handphone and the basic casula communication system and then we will study about the satellite system where you will study about satellite orbit and basic structure of satellite so when you have this satellite you will understand about jet uh, GPS, you use it right, and etc. So, all these things they will have the telemedicine. Have you heard about telemedicine where we can wireless or we can using the uh, internet of in internet to analysis the medical data or having the medical conference and control the medical robot and etc. So we will explain about the data communication system and the type of the computer networking and protocol okay then we will discuss about 7.6 where the optical communication system lighting property operation of the optical fiber and etc and the last one is the communication system concept of various engineering field so here we will also will touch about the IoT applications in biomedical system. Okay, then we will go for this three week. We need nine hour of lecture, and tutorial four will be having for the chapter six and seven, and in week fourteen. And the last week we will have quiz three, chapter six and chapter seven. Okay. So, when you finish up this syllabus, which means you can go for the final exam. Okay. So, this is the course outcome. So, for the course outcome, we will, after you finish this few chapter, we will achieve course outcome. The first one is ability and analysis, the mathematical function of the communication system. So you are able to calculate the noise of the system and you're able to calculate the uh, gain of the system and the element element of the communication system how you want to design and the modulation and etc okay for co1 the complexity level is c4 okay 
okay level number four and you will achieve po1 which means the knowledge about the communications system engineering system and you can use this to solve the complex of the engineering problem and you also will achieve po2 is which is problem solving so you are able to use these mathematical functions to solve the engineering complex problem like you can design the filter to filter out the noise you can design the modulation system and how is the receiver transmitter of the data okay for co2 your ability to evaluate the performance of the elements in the communication device which means here you can calculate the noise so you will know how the performance is it whether the performance include of noise or noise or it can provide very good system and you have the knowledge and you also can calculate the uh, modulations how the modulation provide the high uh, very good data or very good signal okay so using PO so here you will have the knowledge about those things and you will provide the problem solving and you're able to solve those problems okay and the last one is co3 ability to propose a conceptual setup of a communication system based on specific requirements so here you have c6 the highest level of the knowledge so you will achieve in po1 the knowledge so here, and you also will achieve in PO2, the problem solving. So here, you will provide a, you will provide a statement. Okay, you as a biomedic engineer, you, a, you are going to design a, a, okay, a internet of things system for a patient to detect their heart attack, for example. Okay, here, you will able to base on the knowledge, the mathematical that you, you learn the performance of the system you learn the 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 element of the system that you learn and you will provide a concept how you to design a communication system based on this statement okay then you can solve the problem the engineering problem so at the end you will become a biomedical engineer so the assessment 70% is the examination okay from the 70 percent midterm exam is 10 percent final exam 60 percent continual assessment which means is the coursework 30 percent quiz 10 percent and assignment 20 percent okay okay this is the co and the assessment Okay, for CO1, ability to analyze the mathematical function for the communication system, you, we will evaluate your PO1 and PO2. So, for the midterm exam, one question is from PO1, the knowledge about the mathematical function of the communication system will be tested. Okay, in final exam, we'll have question 1 from the CO1 so problem solving we will provide a problem for you to solve based on the mathematical functions of the communication system that you have been learned and the quiz is 3% and you have one assignment 1 okay 4% okay then for CO2 ability to evaluate the performance of the element in communication system so for CO2, we will have PO1, access of PO1 and PO2. So for midterm question 2, 5% is for PO2. To see how you want to provide a question, a problem, see how you want to uh, evaluate the performance of the system based on the given problem. Okay. And in the final exam, we will have question 2 and question 3. 3 is about PO1, the knowledge of the performance of the elements of condition device and also question 3, how you want to solve the problem. <coughs> then we will have quiz 2, 4%.
okay and we will also will have assignment 2 for percent okay for co3 ability to propose a conceptual setup of a communication system based on the specific requirement so we will achieve po1 and po2 so this one will be evaluated in the final exam question 4 and question 5 or question 6 okay with 12 marks then the quiz 3 will be evaluated and also we have the group assignment inside the group assignment we have part a and part b 6% 6% okay for the po1 and po2 okay this is the total assessment okay so for this course we will using the textbook this is the textbook louis e dot frenzel principles of electronic communication system and you can also refer other reference book reference books so this one is Benny Thomasy okay electronics communication system fundamental through L1 or Pao Yang electronic communication system techniques and Mullet basis of communications the physical layer and etc other other books any other book you can use okay okay so before i end the introductions here have very very important instruction first is your attendance must be 100 percent and highly mandatory for this course okay the leave without early communication is not allowed if this happens, student must meet me earlier to the next class with the sufficient proven of the leave. Okay, hundred percent attendance is highly essential for the quiz, midterm, and final exam, and also tutorial sections. No conversation section for the above thing will be conducted. Okay, so hundred percent of the lecture is essentially for you to write the final exam assignment should be submit on time without fail so if you submit late for the assignment i will not accept it okay 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 you certified with everything let us explore it to let us explore it to the communication system okay now we're going for chapter one bye